Who says America hasn't got history? We're just on Flagler Beach, heading down today to St. Augustine. Rather cool beach. Henry Flagler was a person who pretty much brought tourism to Florida. Yeah, it's lovely here. Yeah? Nice cool breeze coming in from the uh, from the Atlantic. Yeah, why not? We've got this great wall where you can actually write what you want on this board and I've just put it's not where you're from it's where you're at it's an Ian Brown quote from the Stone Roses but I put it there so there you go okay let's head down to St Augustine So here we are in St. Augustine. I was here last in 2016, I think. Lovely, lovely old town. We go exploring and uh, let's do this. At the St. Augustine Jail Gallows, original Jail Gallows. And uh, I'm just noticed that there have been two executions, Tim Jackson on the February the 9th, 1906. Charles Powell, February the 28th, 1908. So they've fallen through on the rope above, you can see that. Not very pleasant, very, very, very horrible way to die. Is there a pleasant way to die? But, you know, only what, 100 years ago, still doing this brutality. Quick look in the museum. Zoltan. I see him everywhere, this Zoltan chap. I'm not doing the trolley ride. I've done all that. It's really interesting actually, but I'm not doing it this time. So I'm going to walk down to the old town in a second. Uh, go to the fort. I saw this in Key West, the same company. Ghosts and gravestones. They really want me on the tour. This park is the cradle of Christianity in the New World. I did visit it last time. We've got time, we're going to have a look in uh, later on. Here's a heritage plaque. So this would be the equivalent of like National Trust or English Heritage, I assume. 1565. This big cross. Seriously? Historic downtown St. Augustine. Okay. Visitor Centre. I've been here before. I think I know where I'm going. Yeah. Was Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum? I don't know if that was a big thing in England or not, really. I don't really remember it from way back, but it's big over here anyway. So. Just popped in the Visitor Centre. Have a quick wee. Find out some info. Old Spanish Trail Zero Milestone, St. Augustine, Florida, to San Diego, California. Erected and dedicated 1928. Now the old city gates, St. Augustine. 
and we're on St George Street which is like the main thoroughfare through St Augustine St George's Inn oh the old school house that I went to once before I'm up on the it's really interesting oh I'm going the museum will be closed until Monday October 7th I'll link the previous video below don't worry this is one of the, the oldest schoolhouse in the United States. The creepy mannequins that uh, were here last time. Very cool place, very cool place. But I say, the mannequins are a bit... We was dressed this way in 1931 by graduates of the class of 1864 during the class reunion. That's right, Johnny. Uh, they also decorated this little school the way they remembered it when they were here. As a matter of fact, on the back wall, there are some photographs of the class taken at that reunion and the class roll. The school itself was built sometime before 1763. Thank you for coming to visit. Don't forget your diploma and enjoy your stay in the nation's oldest city. Bye! Well, that was like an episode of Thunderbirds, honestly. Houses along this road, 1761 onwards. And George's Row. Some old quaint shops and, and tat, as I call it. No, it's good. There's the famous Flagler College, named after Henry Flagler. I'm not into shopping really, but uh, it's exploring, isn't it? Look at that. We're in private, sh uh, private shop. <laughs> cool. Let's go back outside. Some lady trying to flog key lime pie. If I had some sort of property in uh, Florida, um, after Key West, of course, so that would be number one. This could be a close second, say Augustine. Could be a close second. Not well, okay. <laughs> You have been warned. Crunch zone. Unauthorised cars. Parked here will be crushed while you die in the shop for stuff. Have a nice day. <laughs> We've done arts and craft market here. It's great architecture, actually. Yeah, look at that. Really nice. See by the panelling, the wood panelling the windows. Okay, we're going to go and find the oldest house in St Augustine to have been to before. It's on Charlotte Street. I remember seeing these before, these um, lovely old colonial houses. We are now in the old town. I thought it was all the old town. It's all oldish for me. But uh, just moving down to find the oldest house. That's right, if I remember from before, it's down here. I remember walking down this road. Great old building, look at that. Wow. Father Miguel O'Reilly House, first Spanish colonial period, built 1690 to 1763, or in between that time. Ah. And this is the oldest well in St Augustine, if I remember rightly. Obviously filled in now. No, I couldn't find it. But even on a previous video, the one linked below. So, uh, yeah, it's an old house. 
First public market space it was on this site in 1598. Go heading back down towards uh, the fort on St George's Street. Around the world marketplace, great shop. <laughs> America's first wax museum. Right, I said we're going to go and look at the big cross, erected in 1965, I think on the 400th anniversary of the founding of St. Augustine. I've been there before, but we'll have another quick look. I oh, forgive me, as everyone knows, I'm not religious whatsoever, but I still find these things absolutely fascinating. The bridge is closed for repairs. Uh, I think we can walk around that way then, have a look. Our Lady of La Larche, Larche. Well, let's go have a look inside. What a lovely place to meditate. These places are almost like unquiet. This building is the fourth building uh, on the same plot, on the same site. first one was about 1620. While I was in there I did get one of my wishes where I wasn't expecting. A little, ooh. I mean this is fascinating. This site right here was where America had its first mass uh, in the New World. It spread across, across the country, across North America. So Christianity pretty much started right here, which is absolutely fascinating. So there's a massive cross, which was built in 1965, as I said earlier, celebrating the 400th anniversary of the foundering, founding of St. Augustine. Huge, huge. So you must be able to see that for miles around. It's pretty impressive. We've made of a stainless steel, solid stainless steel. Grounds are closed, so we won't go in. We can't go in because uh, they're doing some work. Um, so it says no trespassing, which is fine. We won't violate that. It's their ground. Such a shame. I mean, in the last video, which you can see below, I did walk up and uh, get some good shots. But uh, now we can't. That's interesting as well. The uh, native tribes here, when the saying Augustine was colonised, obviously they inter interacted a little bit. But by the 17th century, the native tribes here who were here before were singing mass in Latin by the 17th century. It's amazing how quickly religion can take a, a hold on people. Well, not everyone. I'm not really quite sure what this place is when I was here before. It's like a gift shop and a mini museum. Stroke. I don't know. There's Zoltan again. Freaky Zoltan. Yeah, man. History walk. You go down in the history walk. Literally goes down here, down this broad walk. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. And the history walk ends, yeah, in um, a cage, in a prison. Very, uh, hello, guys. Hmm. There you go. How's that? Well, thanks very much for joining us, guys for this tour of St. Augustine, my third time. Lovely, lovely old town. I'd like to spend a little bit more time here actually and really explore. Um, lots of history, lots of heritage, 
lots of chilled out people, lots of nice sun, always good, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget, if you liked it, please comment, like, subscribe, always appreciated. And uh, we'll see you next time from sunny Florida. Take care.